A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the last edition of Sports Tonight for the week. It's the Friday night, and uh, usually on a Friday, we like to take it a little easy and prepare you for the excitement that comes with the weekend. Uh, today is not going to be any different, uh, so we have lined up a whole lot for you uh, on Sports Tonight this beautiful Friday. My name is Tony Bitoye. Let me quickly uh, start by introducing to you those starting off the show with me tonight. Saeed Abbas um, is on the show tonight and uh, is looking like uh, somebody called you like a Spanish um, pilot or what? <laughs> exactly. A Spanish pilot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but you're looking very different and you're looking very good. Well, that shows the week. Maybe I should be dressed this way the next week. <laughs> I, 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 I should be dressed this way next week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need to be. You need to be. Mm. And of course, Tolu is also on the show tonight. Yeah, Tolu, good to have you on, on Sports Tonight this Friday. Thank you very much for mm. having me. Mm. Mm. All right, but um, it's a Friday, remember? Uh, so we'll be talking chess later on on the show. Uh, towards the end of the show, we'll be talking chess on the program. Now, Tony Ogunshiku um, has plenty to talk to us about uh, in the world of chess. But before we bring in Tunde, uh, we also have a very special guest who will be talking to us about a very special event that will be happening on Monday. We're talking about rewarding the best players on the domestic scene. The League Bloggers Award holds on Monday, December 15. But we have someone who will come to join us, the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of the League Bloggers Award. Uh, will be joining us on Sports tonight later on on the show to talk to us about the idea behind the League Bloggers Award and what we should look forward to uh, for the 2014 edition. Remember, there is um, a brand new car awaiting the most valuable player, whoever emerges as the most valuable player of uh, the season uh, in that event organized by the League Bloggers Award. We will also talk, talk about the different uh, categories and the different nominees uh, on the show tonight. We will just race through it as we go along on Sports Tonight this Friday. But let's start off the show uh, by telling you that uh, tonight is not going to be any different uh, from the other nights in terms of what we expect uh, that you contribute uh, to what we're doing on Sports Tonight and that by way of feedback. So please, we expect you to be very active with us. We will try to be as interactive as we can uh, and we want you to just give us your opinion to issues as we raise them on the program tonight. The platforms are shown on your screen. Channels, iPhone Sports, for those of you who want to talk to us via Facebook. And if you want to tweet at us, those handles are there. Uh, at channels underscore sports, at 2 my and we'll be able to uh, go through your thoughts and uh, pass your message across to uh, the hundreds of millions of people who are watching us uh, in and outside of Nigeria, watching us online across the globe, all right? So uh, please get ready to be a part of all that we're doing uh, on the program this Friday. Gentlemen, um, let, 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 me, let me just quickly ask you, the, the highlight of the week for you, this is another Friday. I mean, these days, <laughs> this, these days are running so fast. I mean, when so was the so last fast. time you guys were here? Just like, just like, just like yesterday. Exactly. But what, what has been the highlight of the week for you, Saeed? Well, the week has been there, here and there. I think for me, it has to be the, um, the Champions League. Uh, okay, conclusion uh, of the group, yeah, good the games. Good games, uh, whereby you saw uh, Barcelona coming back to, uh, to defeat uh, PSG, uh, topping their group there. As now, the uh, percent record for Real Madrid. percent record. As now, they left it in late, uh, but they finished their group second. And also, mm. a couple of um, games. And also, a more than football. We talked about it on Friday. Manchester United were able to defeat uh, Southampton. I know we're going to talk about that one. As a United <laughs> fan. Exactly. Mm. They were able mm. to defeat Southampton. And now third on the on the table there. Mm. So how about on a good roll? Mm. Hopefully, then uh, also not for, uh, not forgetting our uh, Liverpool will be coming up on. We will talk about our big games. Exactly. We will also talk about the big games in Europe this weekend. Surely, uh, Manchester United Liverpool will be one of the big games we will talk about on the program tonight. But Tolu, um, the week has gone very fast. Yeah. What, what, what for you? What are, are the highlights of the week? The biggest news. Mm. Maybe, just maybe, we are done with the whole NFL uh, election saga with FIFA ruling that uh, they are backing the majority yeah. reports of the appeals committee. So 
hope mm -hmm. that that's the other, but that's mm -hmm. the other yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you think that is the end of the problems? I, I, that's what I say, maybe, just maybe it is the end. Mm -hmm. Because we, you, well, but you, you, you know, know are so you never say never. Never say never. Never say never. Never say never. I say maybe, because some people are desperate, they really want some things, they can take it to the next level. We never can talk about possible costs. It's a possibility. It's a possibility because it's not in a law, in the law book of the nation that we can't take football matters or to civil court anymore. And I think the NFF has, okay, I think the NFF, NFF Act, it hasn't yeah. been passed in the law yet. Passed. So no, it, it hasn't been passed yet. The president hasn't, yeah. I mean, uh, signed it. The yeah. NFF have not also passed yeah. it. That so, means, that, so you can put it up to, to the, can still, still run to civil court now. Everything has still happened. Time but, 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 then, but then it will be bad news because FIFA will once again frown at it yeah, and then we'll be yeah. back in school. But, huh? And maybe mm -hmm. they can just say that, yeah, since the nation is not playing any competition, let's go. 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 let us there's still one more, and that is um, arbitration. Yes, yes. If, if you are not happy with appeal, or you are not happy with something, you go to appeal, appeal does not give you what you need, then arbitration is, is there. Uh, right. arbitration and and we have a lot of right. cases already in court of arbitration <laughs> for sports. So, um, as Tolu said, maybe this is the beginning of the end of the crisis, but I hope Hopefully. that they will allow reason to prevail, yeah, and then allow us to really focus on the football itself. Exactly. Yeah, but I think I, think, I, think I want to agree with you. Um, just to wrap up this segment very quickly, let's just um, do what we've always done and uh, just remind you quickly, Aruna Kodri, uh, we're happy with the response that we're getting already. Um, please, go and do the needful. We came so close for Vincent and Yama when we were voting for the yeah, BBC Aruna okay. Football of the Year. Okay. This time, let's try to make this happen. Yes. Please, vote for Aruna Kodri. He's been nominated for two individual awards. Go on to www.iwtfstarawards.com. Uh, voting will end on the 17th of December. So we have less than a week yeah. uh, to do all of what we're doing. So please go on there. Once you click on that, um, um, ad on that address, it will take you to a portal where you will see different categories. Yeah. I will not call the nominated for two. Yeah. But you have to vote on all three before your entry will be accepted by the IWTF. Yes. So yes. please go and do the needful. What we want you to do is just vote Aruna Kodri on Aruna those Kodri. two portals where it's nominated. Yes. Whatever you like, you can choose in the third one. Just put Aruna Kodri there. Aruna Kodri, Aruna Kodri, where his name comes up. But the other one, just pick any one you like. But you have to vote on all three before your entry is accepted. All right, so let's let's make it happen again uh, for Aruna Kodri. All right, let's um, come back. Uh, let's take you now to uh, the Niger Delta and talk about the NDDC football tournament. They've always been doing this uh, as a way of developing football, and um, they are really looking at grassroots football development. Let's sit back, take this report on what the NDDC is doing towards football development. We'll come back and uh, talk Copa Lagos, and uh, hopefully we will also be taking you to Abuja. We expect to have Ayo Olu Ibira for join us from Abuja today to talk about the Olympic team, the under 23 team, how they're getting ready for their challenges next year. All right, so let's take it to the United Delta now. We'll come back for more on Sports Tonight. It was all fun and excitement for fans at the Liberation Stadium in Port Harcourt where the finals of the 2014 Niger Delta Development Commission football tournament took place. The NDDC staged the five-day event as part of efforts to give its staff an opportunity to participate in sporting activities. The champions in the opening encounter the champions won 2 million, while the second place team went home with 1.5 million naira. The third place team were also given a cash reward of 1 million naira. The managing director of NDDC, Basi Dan Abia, believes that the football tournament has a lot of benefit. This should be seen as part of the way of being the commission 
the water that we put where that is the creation, where it is a portion of fat, we will take a walk where it's energy. I congratulate you. I believe that you will not allow your duty to distract you from your day-to-day -day official engagement. Rather, this should for that strengthen you to continue to do your work efficiently. The organizers promised to give fans a bigger and well-planned event in 2015. All right, so that's it. We must commend uh, the NDDC uh, for all that they're doing to develop uh, football from the grassroots. We hope uh, that these tournaments are sustainable, and we hope that um, a few years down the line, they will be able to pinpoint some players that will go on to the highest level as being products of uh, this idea that they've been able to put together. But gentlemen, um, for another data, let's come to Lagos very quickly. Yeah. Uh, because uh, the way Saeed has been smiling, it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The, the tell ladies have come to town. and uh, it's, 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 uh, when, it, when we talk about uh, the, the Copa Rivers, it's always fantastic. Apart from the football being played, you have to talk about the important game. ladies there. No, you cannot just take your eyes off it. It's, it's all about the entertainment. It goes beyond the football. You cannot just talk about uh, the four quarter formation and all. You have to also talk about the four quarter formation. The challenges have confused you, sir. <laughs> anyway, let, let's start by taking a look at the result. Copa Rivers kicked off today, and of course, uh, plenty of excitement. Let me confess, I have been there myself, and uh, I was almost going to miss post now because of the traffic that I uh, encountered coming back. But it started today, and um, Let's run through for you results of uh, day one uh, of uh, the 2014 uh, Copa Lagos, and then we will uh, talk about the games lined up for tomorrow and uh, some of the other things. Barcelona, um, first game of the day, beat Pepsi Academy yeah. 7 4. We yeah. had the, the uh, brain, the founder of uh, Pepsi Academy on the show yesterday, Kashima Olaloka, and he told us that his boys will not be disgraced, and they were not disgraced. Yeah. At yeah. some point, they were 5 0 down. Yeah. Uh, but then they came back and made it very, very respectable. So we, we, we'll right. show you some highlights from that game. Uh, that was the only game we could wait to, to cover because uh, of the traffic. Ayimba, stationary stalls, 1 nil in favor of Ayimba. Low scoring game yeah. uh, for Big Shocker. You must imagine that these guys would have been very defensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How can you play 1 nil in uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Nigerian, Nigerian League? Nigerian League, you know? It's a very difficult game. But uh, Nigeria Ghana. But the West African derby, all the West African teams in the Copa Lagos for the uh, national teams, we beat Ghana 7 5. It was a dramatic game. Yeah. We ran into a 3 0 lead. The Ghanaians came back 3 3, and then it was neck and neck yeah. until the uh, Sandy Goose uh, just uh, um, moved off the mark. Uh, and then Senegal, I mean, they were annihilated by Cote d'Ivoire 6 2. All right, so these are results of March day one uh, of uh, the 2014 Copa Lagos that began. Um, 